Ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the second episode of the Escape from Tarkov series. Sorry, Escape from Unturnov series. I'm starting to regret selling all of my guns on this wall because I kind of want to upgrade my vendors and I need guns for that. And right now, I kind of don't have any. As a matter of fact, I just realized I sold the gun I was using so I don't even have one to shoot someone with. So I'm going to buy myself a caution scope, a few medifications, maybe more than a few actually, head into the raid zone and hopefully find a gun before someone finds me. I've been on the server for less than two minutes and there's already someone trying to camp me from the safe zone right there. I'm gonna go this way. If I could find a gun here, I might be able to take him out. Come on, luck. It's pretty early in the morning. There's only 20 people on and most of these people do have relatively high reputation, so I should be pretty safe. Oh, no, 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 no. Dude, right as I said that, someone just comes out of nowhere. Oh my god, I don't want to lose my gear. I have tier two armor on me right now. I gotta find a gun ASAP. He's chasing me. I could e evac like a bitch, but I'm just gonna continue running. What the fuck? Oh my god. Well, I assumed that was a safe zone because the evac guy is right there. I guess I was uh, pretty wrong in my assumption. Note to self, never assume you are safe. <laughs> oh, whoa, 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 whoa. You saw that? Picked up a shotgun immediately. Avitia spawned. Now let's try and kill that cocksucker that just killed me. Don't have a scope. This might be pretty challenging, but I don't think he has one either. And he definitely just evac'd. I just fully re-geared, completely catered with tier one gear. I got a Vitiaz, three extra mags, extra ammo. And I also put a suppressor and a costume on it. Ready to rock and roll. Now let's do some damage. Now I know that since I have a suppressor on, I can't see where my bullets are going. But since this map is so small, I don't think it really matters. As most encounters are going to be close quarters. And I think maintaining anonymity, or rather stealth, would be a great advantage. So now when I shoot with the suppressor, only half the entire map knows where I am, as opposed to the entire map knowing where I am. Got one guy. First kill of the day. First kill of the week, actually. I haven't played this in a while. Let's see what we got. All right, not bad to start off. That guy had two pistols on him, one AK-74U, some ammo, and a generator. I think that was the guy that killed me before. Now, the vendor I want to upgrade immediately is the Ragman. This guy sells you clothes, armors, backpacks, all that good stuff. And it is very annoying not being able to pick up stuff because you don't have any inventory. And by the looks of it, he's not trying to give me any quests right now. And I think I need to upgrade the general first before I can do that. But I don't don't want to do that because if I upgrade the general, I won't have access to customs anymore. So I guess I'm going to have to deal with this awful armor for a little longer. Oh, this man's right there. Hey, let's go. Climbing ladders really does put you at a disadvantage in this game. At least in real life, you could like hold on with one arm and try and shoot them with the other arm. But in this, you need four points of contact in order to ascend. This guy just had a Vepra on him. Better than nothing. Ooh, see a guy in the distance. Let's see what he has for me. Never mind, I think he just extracted. Okay. Didn't mean to pick up that Vepr because it spawned so quickly, but nice. Last week, last episode, I almost died because some guy was camping at the same exact spot and I was right behind that pole. And I can see why he was camping here. This spot is OP. You have this slit right here, so it hides as much of you as possible. But you still have an extreme amount of visibility. So I can just wait here and kill all the unsuspecting noobs that enter my crosshair. But I'm not because I can't stand camping for too long because my brain starts to melt. I just saw a guy running this way. Things in the tent over there. I'm gonna get high ground. Oh, this guy's done. Oh! Got him. This guy juked the fuck out of me. Oh my god. If, if that guy was more patient, if he waited for me to prone, he could have seriously killed me right there. So I had no idea where he was. Look at him trying to climb back up. That's cute. And the only reason I saw him is because, well, first of all, the loud-ass Mosin and Gaunt shot and the extremely huge muzzle. Now that was an incredible run. I got three Vepers, one AK, two Mosins, and a $100 note to top it off. It did sound like some people were fighting back there, so I want to get back to that action as soon as possible. Because I want that AK, you know what I'm saying? It is currently becoming nighttime, so I'm going to grab a pair of night vision goggles. Let's see how much damage we're going to do, because we're going to be at such an advantage. Bravo 6 going dark. Oh, I hear footsteps right next to me. That's always a good thing. Ooh, I like how that guy was trying to be so tactical with his lean, but leaning doesn't really give you any extreme benefit or advantage in this game. It just makes you look like an idiot. Killed one. There's another one here. Oh, this guy was stacked. Why was he using a pistol? The guy had a Vitiaz 
and an AK. And he was like, let me just use the worst gun in the game. I was in there for like less than two minutes and that's probably the best run of the entire week. Two AKs, one Vityaz, one Mosin, two pistols, two masks, and a generator. Considering the server only has 19 people on at the moment, there are a lot of people at Customs. There's a lot of action going on. Oh, just saw a guy. He's going right, right here. Boom. I kind of feel bad for these noobs that are just new to the server because they just have to deal with someone like me that shows absolutely no remorse for nakeds. Hello, Rasta. And the reason for that is because nakeds can become not nakeds very quickly. Oh, <laughs> that scared the shit out of me. Let's see how long I could stay behind this guy before he realizes that his death is imminent. <laughs> I like how he slowly turned around. Imagine he just one tapped me in the head. Pretty decent run. One Mosin, one MP5, and a ton of trade-in materials. Just saw a man's. About to hit him with that flank. Oh, where am I? Where am I? Shit, where is he? Well, that's not good. Well, that sucks. He had an AK, and I really wanted that AK. Oh, here he is. Hit him once. Oh, I think there's two of them. Yep. Oh! Oh shit! He shot me once in the head. Nice shot. But I did not know that it's a one-shot headshot kill for an AK. Gonna try and run back there with the uh, Vityaz and see if I could do any damage. There are two of them. It's a two-man. I think I could kill both of them. Now, I don't know if that was just a lucky shot or if this guy's just a god, but we're about to find out. One's under me. I think there's one more inside this building. All right, got them all. That's the guy that killed me, so I should be safe for 10 seconds, so I gotta do this quickly. I'll take my gun back, thank you. Looks like I need a backpack. I do hear shots over here, so I have to be very careful. I think they might be trying to undercut me. Oh, this guy is safe zone camping. What do you think you're doing, pal? It's not nice. Now that was one hell of a run. I did die, but I think I could safely say I made a net gain. Two Vityazes, three AKs, two Vepers, one AR, Mosin, and a pistol. I just thought of a very interesting concept. Now, if I don't roam customs, if I don't play the game, this allows other players to roam customs freely, meaning they will loot, they will progress, they will gain items, experience, etc. Now, in doing so, they get geared up and they roam customs and they run around with full inventories. So if I come back in around like five or 10 minutes and I can easily kill them and loot their stuff, it's like they're playing the game for me, which ultimately comes to the conclusion that I can play this game by not playing this game. Harvard, I'm waiting for my scholarship. Shots fired, shots fired. Sounds like a guy with a Vepper. $100 note, not bad. Sounds in this game can be so confusing sometimes. Sometimes they sound like they're so far, but they're actually close. And then the converse where they sound like they're close, but they're actually super far. You know that the AS value has that effect and someone just reloaded they're about to die they're inside that little room or they're on top of the roof i think he's on top of the roof oh nope he was right there all along oh my god that lucky motherfucker they didn't even aim in shot once with the vepper and domed me in the skull just got back from getting food haven't played in over two hours let's see if my theory of having others play for me is legitimate unturn has updated server restarting in a few seconds oh boy what is nelson up to now really really good run i just had not too many guns but i got a ton of tradable items a lot of batteries a lot of chems a lot of bricks pretty good and i didn't run into a single person that entire run i didn't even hear a single shot fire then again there are are only 12 11 people on it's pretty strange too because i've never been on the server when there's been less than like 20 or 24 people on it's usually so packed but i don't want to let my guard down because if i do if i assume that there's no one there then it's very easy for me to get jumped get killed and then lose all my stuff unturned was just updated for something probably something small and the server just restarted and i want to get out there as soon as possible because i think when a server restarts all the item spawns respawn when the server is restarted you know what i'm saying if my assumption is correct i should get some pretty loot from this run right here look at this guy hiding back here. What do you think you're doing here, man? That was a really solid run. Got an MP5, two Vityazes, two AKs, and most importantly, a $100 no. Very nice. It's been a while since I heard someone shoot on this map. That was a Mosin and Gaunt. Let's take him out and take his loot. Is that at me? Oh. It was at me. This guy's... Dude, I knew I saw someone up here. Well, he's stuck in there. I really don't want to open that and then just get instantly one-tapped. Dude, I thought I saw this door swing open earlier. Tango down. Realistically, I could play this entire series from beginning to finish using only two guns, the Vityaz and the AK-74M. That wouldn't be as fun to watch as me using a bunch of different guns, so I'm going to go out of my way to use guns that I normally wouldn't use. So I'm going to start off with the MP5. I've never used this before. Right off the start, I recognize that I can't put a Kashtan scope on it, and it only works with this one red dot sight. 
pretty manageable with close quarters, but at range, the recoil is pretty significant. Oh, shots fired. Hasn't been any decent action on this map in a while. This guy just killed someone. Let's kill him and take both of their loot. It sounded like it was so close, but I think it was pretty decently far away. Well, I'm not used to using the red dot sight. The cost is just so much better. Easy kill. I mean, this guy wasn't expecting me at all. Let's see what he had on him. One, two, three, four, five guns. Not bad. Not bad at all. Your footsteps. I wish the audio in this game was a little more level because it is very critical to be able to hear people's footsteps, but at the same time, if your audio is too high and you shoot a gun without a suppressor, firstly, your headphones might blow out, and secondly, your eardrums might pop. Dude, these guys just keep on running back over and over again. Whoever runs this server, I highly suggest you increase the respawn time. Because if these guys had a decent amount of money, they could easily undercut me. I have been very hesitant in doing what I'm about to do. Customs has just been so much fun killing all these noobs that have no idea what they're doing and getting so much loot so quickly. Especially since there's so many spawns for tradable items that... I've seen haven't spawned as much in the other maps that I'm about to unlock. And what I'm about to do is upgrade the general. I'm ready for a new raid area, level one. All I need are two Remingtons and three CZs, easy quest. And what this is going to do is unlock interchange. And in unlocking interchange, I'm no longer going to have access to customs, which means I can't pup stomp these noobs anymore. Now there are going to be plenty of noobs in interchange, but there are also going to be some high level maxed out guys in there. I'm talking about fully geared out tier three armor and clothing and weapons, running M4s with ACOG scopes and team members. One, two shotguns and one, two, three pistols. As much as it hurts me to do this, it is necessary for the progress of this series and the gameplay. I'm ready for the new raid area, level one, complete the quest, and we are done. But since this guy is now upgraded, I can go to all the vendors and upgrade them to level two. And the guy that I want to upgrade first is the mechanic and then the clothings dude. All right, I was incorrect. Apparently I need to upgrade the general once more. Talk to the general, I'm ready for a new raid area again. Level two, all I need are three vepers and two most and a Gantz. Should be pretty easy to get, considering I have all of those on my gun wall already. Two Mosin and a Gantz and three Vepers. One, two, three. If you're going to play this server, this is what I'm talking about when I say prepare with customs so you can skip interchange. I had every single thing I needed to level up the general twice. And if you don't have anything when you level them up once, you're going to be stuck on interchange and it is very difficult to get what you need to level up on that map. Level two, continue. And my general is now upgraded to level two, which means now I can go back to the mechanic and the ragman and upgrade them to the next level. Talk to the mechanic, quests, get the shop to level two. All I need are three blow torches, one Noveski, and a PU scope. And this guy is really easy to level up. You could buy all those items from him. PU scope, one Noveski, and three blow torches. As easy as that. Talk to him again, quests, get the level shop to level two, continue, and he is now upgraded. Now let's do the same for the ragman. Now what he needs are 17 cloth, eight sewing kits, and a PP19 Vityas. I already have a Vityas on my wall, so I don't even need to buy that. Now, I have a ton of sewing kits, so I don't need to buy those either. And for the cloth, I can just scrap all the extra clothing and rigs that I have on me. And that is the last sewing kit I needed. Look at that. I didn't need to buy a single item for this quest. I had everything inside my lockers. Benefits of being a hoarder. Let's talk to this floating hairpiece once again. Get the shot to level two. Continue. And there we go. The ragman and the mechanic are now level two. Let's see what we unlock. We got tier two muzzles and suppressors for the respective Russian and American weapons, but more importantly, and what I care about more, are the scopes. We got a Walther MRS, an EOTech EXPS, an EOTech 552, OKP7, PSO, and the ACOG. Now I know that the PSO is the scope from the Dragonov. I'm gonna buy each of these and test them out at the firing range. Starting off with the holographic sights, which are pretty much all the same exact thing. Yeah, they're the same exact thing. They're both glitched out, which means the site itself is it's invisible it's not there but what we do have is the floating holographic image on the other end of the spectrum we have the red dot site looks pretty solid in my opinion this is the ACOG TA31CH. So far, this is the only scoped in sight I have access to. And sadly, I can't use the Dragonov scope on uh, American weapons. It's similar to the Kosh gun, but it just has more zoom. Since I want to 
test out interchange, I'm going to be using the red dot scope just for those close quarters encounters. It's becoming nighttime and I'm about to hop into interchange. Let's see if it's as awful as I remember it being. Haven't been here in so long and it is just as laggy as I remember it. Rocking a solid 40 frames right now. I think part of the reason this map is so populated is that people don't know how awful it is. They don't know how hard it is to find loot so they get stuck on it. And as more and more people accumulate on this map, it becomes harder to find loot. So it's like, it's like a vicious circle exponentially becomes more difficult pair that with the lag and how small the map is with how quickly nakeds can just run back and it makes for quite the cancerous experience i think i'd be safest if i'm just always scoped in just slowly walking around it may limit my movability my speed at least i'd be able to instantly point on someone's head and shoot just hit a shot someone's over here sounds like a vepper i've got to be careful with that because i have a tendency to get one tapped by guys with vepers Yep, that was him. Oh, he had a tier 3 black combat vest on him. I'll take that. Very nice. I've been looting this map for 3 minutes and all I got are two vepers. One of which I found, the other I killed someone for. So after looting interchange for about 10 minutes, I got one Mosinagant and two vepers. Apparently there's a secret room inside interchange that if I complete a quest, I can open the door and have access to it and get a lot of good loot. Hey, I found a key from the idea for the admin room. Unfortunately, I need to stay at the base. I can trade you a key, blah, 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 blah. Of course, why not? He needs three Russian pistols and one shotgun. I don't feel like running back up to my base, so I'm just gonna buy them. Looks like the pistol I need is actually a tier two Russian pistol. So in order to do this quest, I need to upgrade Prapor to level two. So let me talk to Prapor, level up the shop. What do you want? What do you need from me? God damn, that's a lot of guns. Three shotties, two AKs, one Mosin. I should have every single one of those on my wall. I had the AKs and the Mosin, but I really thought I had more shotties, but apparently I have zero. So I guess I'm just gonna have to buy them. Gonna need four of them. One, two, three, Four. Wasn't too expensive. They're only 1500 each. Talk to Propor again. Quests. Level shop up. Complete the quest. Open the level two shop. Buy three P266Rs. One, two, three. Go back to this guy. Here's the loot. Complete the quest. And now we have access to the admin room in Interchange. Since it's daytime, I think there are going to be a lot more people here. You can already hear the footsteps. Don't know if they're above or below me, but I gotta be careful. Whoa, this guy had a lot of notes on him. The way to get to this admin room is to go to Ali, walk through here. Don't think I've ever been here before. Go up these escalators and then get lost. It's gotta be somewhere around here. Oh, here it is. So apparently this is the admin access room. I can open this, close it after me. Okay, MP5, not bad. Pick up the warden's key. Don't know what that's for, but I think that'll be useful later. And then this room right here has a ton of flash drives and video cards. And why are there a bunch of... Yo, who put the microwaves in the refrigerator? These video cards and flash drives can be traded in for high tier weapons. So I'm gonna have to hold on to those. Considering this area is kind of a secret and you need like a special side quest to access it, this might be the safest place on all of Interchange. I completely forgot that I upgraded the Ragman to tier 2, which means I have access to a ton of new clothing so it's time to upgrade with all of this tier one gear i have a combined total of 80 slots let's go to the level two shop and upgrade real quick let me get one of these one of these one of these and one of these damn that thing's 1100 god okay by the looks of it the tier two gear doesn't necessarily give you more slots but i'm assuming it gives you more armor just bought the tay multicam jumper vest i'm assuming this gives the best of both worlds gives me more slots and I'm assuming more armor as well. But I think the backpack is where this thing is going to shine. Look at this. Boom! More than doubled in size. But since I found a tier 3 vest off of some guy, I'm going to use this instead. My wardrobes are starting to get pretty stacked and they are absolutely unorganized. I don't know where anything is and if I want to get a specific item, it takes a long time to do. So I think it's time to expand to the second floor and start placing things with the intent to be organized, efficient, effective, and what other possible adjectives you want to use. I'm going to start out by filling this entire wall over here with gun racks. And once that's done, I'll decide what to do next. Okay, it was nice meeting you. Can you please let me out? I'm stuck. This dude's name is Solo PVP Chad. How are you a solo if you have a team member up here? Does that make him a liar? Thank you very much. Goodbye. Well, 10 minutes later, 30,000 experience later, and over 150 gun racks later, the wall is done. I've done this a couple times now and it sucks 
now just as much as it did the first time. But you gotta do what you gotta do. What I'm gonna do now is go through every single wardrobe on the first floor and neatly organize every single tradable item into each of these rows. And I'm finally done. Now there's a clear distinction between which items are more common and which items are more rare. For example, in the time it took me to get over 24 generators, I only got three portable gas cans. I'm going to keep all of these items until I reach level three proper and level three peacekeeper because you could trade them for higher tier items. And I think the higher the XP you get per tradable item increases, the higher you go. So for now, it's looking pretty good. I'm going to have to spend a little bit of time here so I can build up my furniture collection, get myself some tables, chairs, couches, TVs, laptops, and use those to decorate my house. It's going to be laggy. I'm going to die a lot. It's going to be painful, but I think it will be worth it in the end. Hey, get off of me, bro. How did none of those hit him? Dude. Woo! Oh! Woo! Is this guy on the fucking moon? Is his hitbox back at his fucking base? I'm gonna be honest. I don't know what the fuck just happened, but whatever did happen is more than enough of an excuse for me to never go back to that place again. Fuck the furniture, fuck that feng shui shit. I'm going to woods, baby.